as early as today, right? So this is a natural way to add keywords. And you can see that we just added an, we just added the App Store marketing keyword into the description. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. Um, so this is kind of a nifty thing. So if you have a longer description, you get a lot of spots where you can try different variations of keywords and um, uh, you know maybe repeating them, not stuffing them, but repeating them in a nice way so that you can tell Amazon, hey, this is what the, app, what the book is about. And then Amazon gives you a sp spot to give to add seven different keywords. As you can see, mine are mobile app monetization, mobile app marketing, mobile apps, promote Android app, promote iPhone app, mobile app business. So let's see how this is going to work. So let's see where my, um, let's see. I don't know this search uh, if, I don't know if my app, my book is going to rank. So my app, so for this, my book is number one. I think this is an easy search because there's, you know, so let's look at here. Um, so for example, maybe this, and this is a mini. And this is a really good live example because this is actually something that I actually need. So where was that term that I liked? So App Store marketing has very little volume, right? Seven D searches. So this is very, very little. But at the same time, it's, it's not nothing because we are in a niche. Don't forget. Um, and then I have. I'm going to plug in my keyword and see. You know, I think this keyword actually has less demand. So see, twenty. So these are pretty not so good keywords. Um, so I have to do a little bit of a better job, um, keyword research, Android, let's try if Android has any more, um, demand, huh, that's interesting, see, Android has, so maybe what I'll do, um, where's that term that I like, App Store Development, Google Android Apps, oh no. Is App Store marketing, right? That's what it was. App Store, oh, you see that? This is really good because App Store optimization is actually something that we should be targeting. Because look at this, this is pretty good and this is exactly one of our um, and App Store SEO. So I'm actually missing a lot of the good keywords. So what I'll do is I'll add App Store SEO and I'll add App Store optimization and I'll actually do that um, in, in another way. So let's go back to, first of all, let's get rid of promote iPhone app because that gives us too little of a volume. And let's, instead of that, I'm going to paste um, App Store optimization. And then instead of the promote Android app, I'm going to do App Store SEO and you know what I actually want to do I'm also I know that I'm also number one for this mobile app business so because I'm already number one for it just let's just check oh why am I not interesting maybe that was a mistake of mine maybe actually that's one of the search terms I wanted to target but ideally here's the thing you don't have to cram every possible keyword in here because that is the whole purpose of having a longer description. Um, so we can add more keywords. Um, Right? So you see that ASO is basically App Store optimization and SEO is search engine optimization. So uh, we're covering both. And you know, if this was a if I was doing this mostly for myself, I would actually rewrite the description and, and plug more keywords in there. But for now, I'm just going to save and continue. And basically you don't need, you know, we don't need the rest of this because we understand now now if you follow these steps, you will be this will get you pretty far in um in uh, into being pretty good at um, categories and App Store SEO. In fact, if you really follow my advice, like I'm actually a very, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good. I'm quite good at um, uh, ASO, AS, you know, 
search SEO. So if you follow my SEO advice, you'll be ahead of most book publishers, I promise you. Because most people do not go through this kind of detail that I just went through. They really don't. Um, and probably if you're watching this, it's chances are you wouldn't have, right? Tell me the truth. Um, <laughs> so you can see that um, th there are some, you know, you can get pretty far and you can target many keywords and get discovered. Now, this isn't the only way to get discovered. Let's talk about our friend Google. So on Google, I'll show you. So there are a couple of ways to get on, onto Google, right? So I have a um, book about starting a business. It's actually this book. And it's just the example that I had kind of ready prepared. And that's why I, so this is the book. It's, it's a book about going from business ideas to starting a business, right? Pretty simple. Um, uh, so what you can do is promote this book on Google. There are two main ways. There, well, there's not two main ways, but there's two ways that I like. But there's multiple ways. Um, first of all, you can uh, rank in Google with your website. Here's my own website that ha that promotes this book, and. Um, you can promote it with a video on YouTube. Now, unfortunately, this is not my video. I've been trying to get one of my videos to be to be this video, but nevertheless, because um, this would have been my video explaining my business book, right? But instead, YouTube is promoting this video of a different book. Nevertheless, this is a good example that you can see that a video can get into Google and also a video can help promote you in YouTube because YouTube is also a big search engine. So you, that, that will help you reach a lot more people and get people to discover you. And so you can have a web page about you and you can have a um, video. Now, you can also, um, so these are kind of like the strategies, promotional strategies for search that I like. Uh, this takes advantage of Google and it takes advantage of YouTube and it takes advantage of Kindle and Amazon search. This is perfect because those are gigantic platforms that if you leverage correctly, you will get a lot of downloads. Now. This is it for that. Let's talk about now how to get downloads by getting the word out, right? Publicity. Publicity is like a whole big different animal. Uh, I can't talk of you know I can't talk about it at length, but uh, you can do a few things. People, um, you know, start to promote things on social media, blogs. Um, you can get publicity by uh, there's a website called Haro, help a reporter out. There's a website called radioguestlist.com where you can become a radio guest for on podcasts and other kind of radio and promote your book. Um, you can also advertise to promote your book on different, you know, any kind of media, um, things like that. I have a full um, publicity course. Uh, and because I have a full publicity course, I know just how much there is to say about publicity. Um, lastly, I do want to mention that you want to maybe write a press release and go through that whole kind of thing. But again, it's you know writing. It's not like I'm going to be able to explain to you how to successfully write a press release in this short video. So let's end things here, and then for for strategies in with which you will you know kind of get the word out. Those strategies maybe you'll find in my other videos.